Hey, what's up guys? This is Guy here with KB Trainings. Today I'm going to show you how to connect your RJ45 connector to an Ethernet cable. And this is from my last video in which I showed you how I was doing my cabling for my new home network. So today I'm going to show you in detail how you can do that connection. So we have two ways to connect the cable to this connector. We have the T568A and the T568B. We're going to use the B, that's what I'm using in my network. You can also use the A. If you use A on one side and A on the other side, we call it a straight cable. If we use B on one side, B on the other side, we call it a straight cable uh, or a straight through cable. Okay, straight through cable. But if you use um, A on one side and B on the other side, we call it a crossover cable. But that is not very important because these days, most of the network interface card are very smart. So whatever cable you use, they're going to align themselves to be able to use that cable. So we're going to use B on both sides today and that's what I'm gonna do with all my cables and it should be working just fine. So to do this work today, we have these um, different tools. So we have the cables. I have three cables here. This one will be connected to the connector. Um, the other one will be connected to the patch panel and uh, this one we use it for, for testing. And beside that, we have, of course, the RJ45 connector, which come with this small plastic tool that goes inside of it. And then we have the crimper tool, which helps you connect the RJ45 to the cable and also cut the cables and everything. We also have this tool here that helps you remove the plastic um, that is around the cable. And we also have the tester that will help us know if our wire is well done or not. We also have um, a punch tool that will help us connect the cable. And the patch panel is using the same mechanism as this um, connector here that you can put on the wall to bring your cables out of the wall. So it's exactly the same thing. So I'm going to show you that on the patch panel. So let me show you how the connector works. Let's take this cable here. This is a new one that I bought. I'm going to test it and you can detach this here. And if you remember, I showed you that last time I had to map all my cables by putting this on one end, just like I do here. And the other end is connected to this uh, part of the tester. So all I do after connecting like this is power on the tester and we're going to see that we have light confirmation on every cable. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the cable is good. There's no problem with it. So what we're going to do now is use this cable here to connect it to the ethernet cable. I mean, to the RJ45 port. So what I'm going to do is remove this plastic first, okay, with this tool. And then I'm going to separate the cables or the wires inside the cable. Uh, actually, we have eight wires inside. I cut this part in the middle. Um, we have the white orange, the orange, white blue, blue, white green, green, white brown, and the brown. So what I'm going to do first is use this tool here to insert all the cable and line them up. So we start with the white orange. So we insert the white orange. So you might have a different type of connector, but they all work the same way. So we insert the white orange and then we insert the orange. And after that, we insert the white green, followed by the green. And uh, no, 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 the white green is followed by the blue. Okay, I'm glad I checked. So followed by the blue. And after the blue, we have the white blue. And then we have the green followed by the white brown and we finish with the brown. Okay, so you put all your cables like this and then after doing that, you push this plastic thing at the bottom of the cable so that it can hold all the wires tight inside. All right like that. I'm going to cut these wires. Okay, and this is what we have. So the last step, we take this RJ45 connector and we put it on top of this. 
and the very last step is now to use the crimper tool okay so we're going to insert our connector inside the tool like that okay and then we will push hard on this end to create connections with those pins are going inside the wires all right that's it so after that the cable should be ready so we're going to test it now we connect one end to this device and the other end here and we're going to test if the cable is good or not one two three four five six seven eight all right as you can see our cable was well done i can see all the um, the wires are connected fine and i'm going to show you how to connect the cable to the patch panel so we take this and we remove the plastic and we pull all the wires apart already and if you look closely at the patch panel you can see that they put these colors for us this is for the b on top and a is at the bottom so we have b at the bottom here and a on top so we're going to follow b so what i'm going to do is just place all these wires according to these colors and then we're going to use the punch tool um, to create the connection for the b i start with the white blue and followed by the blue followed by the white green followed by the green and on this side we start with the white orange followed by the orange followed by the white brown and we end with the brown so we have our cables uh, lined up like this and now we're going to use the punch tool to connect the wires to the uh, to the patch panel so what i'm going to do is bring my punch tool here like this and then just push you can see it also cut the wire on this side and creates a connectivity inside directly okay sometimes it will not remove itself you need to just pull it like that okay and we do the same thing on this side all right so this is the exact same thing that we do for these connectors if you want to bring your wire out of the wall so we're going to try it now i'm going to take this cable and connect it to this side of the patch panel and because the other side is already connected on the back so i'm just going to test and see if our cable uh, was connected correctly to the patch panel so the tester is here i take this and i put it there and let's see one two three four five six seven eight all right so it's all working and that's how you do it thank you for watching and uh, i'm going to see you in the next video with more training and more learning don't forget to subscribe and like the video and i'll see you in the next one take care bye